my gosh, this is so good. Hello and welcome back to Loud Creations. I am here today to talk about one of my orange meads. I had made about three gallons of orange mead um, several months ago now or a couple months ago and I have a video and I never know where it's going to be but it's going to be somewhere around here. I'll put the link here if you want to see how I made the base for this mead that I'm doing today which is my orange creamsicle mead and today I am checking in on it. I had let it go dry and added five ounces of orange juice concentrate that I made from the oranges that I used to make the initial batch of orange mead. I also added two cups of lactose that was melted in one cup of boiling water. And this is where I'm trying to get the cream, even though I, lactose doesn't leave a cream flavor, but it gives, it gives some mouthfeel and body to it. So I went ahead and did that. I split one vanilla bean and I put it in there as well, which is still floating around in there and there's little vanilla beans all in it um but today i'm here to rack it back sweeten if need be and maybe add a little bit more orange and or vanilla to taste and then i will be back to bottle and do a tasting shortly in this video but for this little section i'm gonna put uh my orange mead into my pitcher and let's start playing around with the flavors all right so i have my pitcher got this and i'll be right back oh we okay i'm back keep forgetting stuff like run to get the spoon forgot the cup okay so I guess I'm just gonna do a little taste. Okay, see what it tastes like. Wow, it's actually pretty, pretty, um, I can taste the vanilla. I might add a little bit of honey and a little bit more of my orange extract and then see so I'm gonna I just pour it in I'm not measuring it I figure if you're gonna be doing this that everybody everybody likes things a little different so put in as much as you as you as you like I'm gonna stir it in while I'm doing that um, I did notice that there's a bunch of little chunks of the vanilla the little seeds in the vanilla bean floating around in here. I'm not too worried about it. If, um, if, if I wanted to get those out, I'd probably si auto siphon this into another container, which I am going to do. And I'll use a mesh bag to catch those little particles. Um, so I'll do that just to, I don't know. I don't mind having little, little reminders uh, that there was a vanilla bean in there but another good thing to do is to heat up your honey and it mixes in faster but of course I didn't do that here yeah that's about perfect um wow this actually turned out really well i would say i added maybe a quarter cup not very much honey i have still have quite a bit of my orange extract left that i had made with the remaining orange zest i i so I only used half the zest of those six pounds of oranges for the three gallons of orange mead that I made. And I dried out some, so I made dried orange zest and then orange extract out of the rest, which is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour 
some of this in too just to bring out the orange flavor a little bit more I don't really need to but I want to so I'm just gonna dump some in sloppy style oh okay I love the smell of oranges gosh this is so good this isn't gonna last long I'm gonna add slightly more vanilla now God. <laughs> oh I'm really excited about this Yeah, orange creamsicle mead. Very good. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> I think we're good here. I'm going to run and get my mesh bag and a carboy to put this bad boy back in. And um, I'll be right back. Got my carboy, got my mesh bag. Now I just need the auto siphon. I'm now putting it into a carboy down on the ground and I will be back with bottling if I record it and uh, tasting. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so here I am uh, with Mr. Katie. Uh, we are here to taste the orange creamsicle mead. And of course you just saw a second ago that I tasted it while I was uh, adding flavors and back sweetening but it's been i want to say almost a month since i did that so you ready oh and this bottle i just bottled it and this bottle kind of is the the end of of the carboy so it's probably well let's see how clear it is ah, that's pretty clear I didn't think it would be as clear, but I've, I racked this, gosh, I want to say three times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so, pretty clear. It's got a little tiny cloud, a little bit tiny of bit of cloudiness to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little haze. I mean, I did put lactose in here and all the stuff that you saw me put in or saw me talk about. So definitely smelling some cream it does have a very creamy creamsicle smell. Yeah. And this is my third orange mead so they all turned of, out pretty good a little bit of the orange too i can smell a little bit of orange yeah i it's, think the vanilla i at the end there i poured in like a little more vanilla and i might have overdone it a little so the over the vanilla is very present should we taste it <laughs> well now i don't okay oh nope. oh yeah that's good it's like a dixie cup yeah that's what what we need is one of those little crappy wood spoons that come in the Dixie cup. Yeah. Or or just drink it out of a crappy wood cup. Yeah. And then you'll get that that wooden spoon flavor along with your <laughs> Yeah, this is this is really good. It's pretty it I sweetened it kind of a lot. I mean it, it it's definitely more on the dessert yeah, side of things. I believe the A B B and this is a rough rough estimate is 12.5 percent it's pretty smooth it doesn't have a bite it doesn't sting going down i can move it all around my mouth and not have like any discomfort at the back end i can like the alcohol part i can yeah, taste it, it but tastes alcoholic for sure yeah it, it's not when i was mixing it it seemed Maybe it's because I kept taking little sips. The more you drink, the less it tastes like alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can <laughs> I that, think that's just that how it goes. Most strong drinks, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is tasty. It definitely tastes like the name. So that's always good. Yeah. So I'd say out of my three orange meads, uh, I like the chocolate orange the best. This one is a very close second. And then the spiced orange is good, but it's something like you just want to have a little bit of it's a little overpowering mm -hmm. um if you have too much but uh that's why i put them in the small bottles 
and you just have a little bit and then you don't have to worry about wasting any. So well, we won't be wasting this. No, we won't. <laughs> this one is really It'll good. It'll be wasting us. I got about, I got four uh, wine bottles and then one little bottle here, beer bottle. So we have a bit. I'm hoping to hold on to a couple of them at least for a year and come back and see how they taste then. So I think that's all I have to say. Wow. It's that good. <laughs> Chug a lug. Um, okay. Well, thanks for tasting it with me. You're welcome. Yeah, it's thanks nice having, having somebody taste stuff with me because I feel silly up in my in my room just doing it that way. So yeah. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Well, I think that's it for this tasting video, and I'm gonna go ahead and put. An estimate of what I added in in the description below if you're interested also definitely check out the orange mead video if you want to recreate this and I think that's all for now thank you see you next time